So, uh, chapter 11 here, sequences and series, we're going to talk about 11.1 uh, now. This is basically an intro into sequences and series here. So, uh, we got to talk about the terms, and the terms we're talking about sequences and series, they are the numbers in the sequence. Um, so, if I had a sequence, um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, um, the terms that are inside of it um, are each of those numbers is the actual terms that I am uh, speaking of here. Um, a sequence is a function whose domain is a set of consecutive integers. Um, what that means is if I gave you like before the 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, that is a set of terms all together and they consecutively go up by the same um, amount or um, the same value each time and that would develop a sequence. Um, the domain is not specified, the domain starts at once. This is very important for you to remember when we are talking about um, sequences that what that means is you start by plugging in a 1 into um, whatever equation is developed if it's not stated. Um, a finite sequence is exactly basically what it says. Uh, it's a sequence with a uh, an ending, so it's going to have a first term, it's going to have a last term. So an example would be something like this. It's a, a sequence because we have terms all going up by one each time. And on top of that, I'm giving you the first number and I'm giving you the last number of the sequence. It starts at one and it goes up to six. So I'm um, telling you where it starts and where it stops. However, an infinite sequence continues without stopping. It never ends. So uh, the reason why this is important for you to keep in mind um, is I could start at, uh, for example, let's say I started at 2, 4, 6, 8. You know what the next one's going to be? It's going to be 10, it's going to be 12, it's going to be 14. It's going to keep going up every single time. And the problem here is the uh, dot, dot, dot. The dot, dot, dot means that it goes on forever. It's never ending. All right, this uh, sequence that we're talking about, there is no end to it in sight. So that's just something for you to keep in mind that there are infinite sequences as well. So with example one, uh, I give you um, a formula, and that formula is um, 2n plus 3. And basically what I'm saying with that formula is you start by plugging in a 1 for the first term, and you work the whole way up to plugging in a 6 for the sixth term. So what that means is um, I plug in a 1, so a sub 1, I plug in a 1 for n, so 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. To find the second term, I would plug in a 2, so when I plug in a 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. Um, next up, for the third term, I'd plug in a 3, so 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 3 is 9. Um, for the fourth term, I'll plug in a 4, so 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, and you can already kind of see the pattern here, 5, 7, 9, 11, so you can probably guess what the sum is going to be of the fifth term, right? For the sum of the fifth term will probably be 13, and you can probably already guess what the sum of the sixth term would be. When I plug in a 6, I end up with 15. Another example um, is just to show you that you can plug in the uh, terms even in exponents. Um, if I plug a 1 in here, if I plug a 1 in for um, n, because it's the first term, 1 minus 1 is 0, and anything to the 0 power is 1. So we've got to keep uh, that in mind there as well. Um, if I plugged in a 2, 2 minus 1 is uh, 1, so negative 2 to the 1 is negative 2. If I plug in a 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, so this is negative 2 squared, which is 4. Plug in the fourth term, um, that's 4 minus 1 is 3, and negative 2 to the third is negative 8. If I plug in a 5, um, 5 minus 1 is 4, so negative 2 to the fourth is positive 16. And if I plug in a 6, 6 minus 1 is 5, uh, negative 2 to the fifth is negative 32. So we can kind of see here, um, very simply put, um, by plugging in the terms, it says it wants to find the first six terms. All we did was uh, plug in the numbers respectively. So we haven't really learned yet um, how to find the patterns, um, but we are going to here in a little. So when we take a look at this, we can easily find out what the next term is. You notice that if we start here, looks like every other one is negative, so your guess would be that this is negative, the next term. Also, 
you notice that you take whatever term it is and it seems like it's multiplying it by 3 each time. So what that means is you would probably say, well, I could take 81 times 3 and find out what the next one is, put a 1 over top of it, and make it negative, and you got yourself your answer. So it should be negative 1 over 243. Um, but the problem is finding out what that pattern is. And here is the pattern for this one. It's negative 1 third to the n power. And if you want to see if that works, basically what you do is um, plug in a 1. If I plug in a 1, negative 1 third to the 1 is negative 1 third. If I plug in a 2, um, that's like saying negative 1 third times negative 1 third. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive. 3 times 3 is 9 on the bottom. Okay, so um, when we get to this eventually, um, which will be in 11.3 when we're talking about geometric sequences and series. Um, you might be able to get a better gist on this right now of how I developed this. So when we get to that section, I'll talk about it in a little more detail. But right now, if it says something like find the fifth term, all you need to do is plug a 5 in there. And negative 1 over 3 to the fifth is negative 1 over 243. Um, this one, it looks like we are going up by 4, then we are going up by 6, then we are going up by 8, right? So it's what we're doing each time. So you would assume we are going up by 10. So your assumption is that the next term would probably be 30. And that's correct. But how to sit there and find the equation? Well, I can rewrite this as 1 times 2. And I can rewrite 6 as 2 times 3. And I can rewrite 12 as 3 times 4. And I can rewrite uh, 20 as 4 times 5. So the pattern that you're seeing here is if we start with 1, which is what we always do, plug a 1 in, 1, and this becomes 2. If I plugged in a 2, this would be a 2 and a 3, right? And so as you see, it's filling into the pattern there. So if I plugged in a 5 here, it would be 5 times 5 plus 1, which is 5 times 6, which is 30. So when we come back here, we will uh, try to finish up 11.1 .1 with um, summation notations um, to figure out what's going on there. And we will continue with 11.1 .1 when we come back.